Hi everyone, my name is Tracy and welcome back to my YouTube channel, My Great Australian Dream. Now, we talk about all things migration, Australian lifestyle on here, but today I just really wanted to do a quick video to really confirm for you guys all the queries surrounding the temporary graduate 485 visa. I think a lot of you guys have already heard and to be honest, I think the internet is in meltdown about it. Uh, whether you can apply again if you're a main or secondary applicant. And today I'm going to explain this to you very clearly. I'm just going to focus on that. And I just want to say this has been confirmed by the Department of Immigration. I did a video on this last week and there's no changes to how I interpret it in the video last week. So if you want a more clear and detailed explanation, head over to that video over there. But today's video is going to be very short, sharp and simple. As you guys know, the subclass 485 visa is a visa for those who have studied and lived in Australia for two years and as minimum, and then they'll be able to live and work in Australia for a further two years on this temporary work visa. Now, I just want to say this is just purely in relation to the post study work stream. The graduate work stream is completely different and we will discuss that in another video. So the part that has everybody confused is 485.211 regulation here. Now don't confuse yourself too much over this. I have the explanatory statement from the minister here and it clearly says that this is in relation to those who are applying as a main applicant and a main applicant again. Okay, so for example, if I studied a bachelor's degree in Sydney, when I finish, I'm eligible for the post study work stream subclass 485 visa. I apply for the 485 visa and granted it for two years. After those two years, I go and study a master's degree in Melbourne. Now, am I eligible again for the 485 visa? The answer is no. And that is what this regulation is talking about. I can't hold the visa twice as a main applicant. However, the question is, if I held it as a main applicant when I finished my bachelor's degree in Sydney, and while I was on the 485 visa, my partner was studying in Sydney his master's, when he graduates, he's eligible for the 485 visa. Can I go on his 485 visa? Now, for me to go on his 485 visa, I have to meet the requirements of a secondary applicant or of a 485 visa, not the main applicant. So the answer purely is yes, I am eligible. Because I'm not trying to meet the criteria of being a primary applicant, I just need to meet the criteria of being a secondary applicant. Now, this also goes vice versa. So if my partner held the 485 visa as a secondary on mine, then later on he wants to apply as a main applicant, is he eligible? The answer is yes, because he never previously held the 485 as a main applicant. And this is what this paragraph is in relation to. A lot of people have sent this to me and said, you can't hold it twice. Read this again. This is about holding it twice as a main applicant. So the explanatory statement from the minister talks about if you hold it once and then you hold it again as a secondary applicant, you can't go and apply for it again on a third time under these new visa extension rules. But I don't want to confuse you guys too much with that today. Just know that all of this is in relation to being a primary applicant. Primary and secondary criteria is very, very different. This has been confirmed by the Department of Immigration. I'll put the links below, but just, and I'll also put, and I'll also put a link below to the explanatory statement if you're still unsure. But I just want to say this has been confirmed. So don't stress about it, guys. If you had that plan to apply as a main and then later as a secondary or vice versa, you can do that. 
So guys, thank you very much for watching today. Please subscribe and like below and turn on your notifications because things in migration change every single day and I will keep you guys up to date on my channel. Thank you very much guys.